There are four types of sludge, primary sludge, biological sludge, which is the waste artery sludge, mixed sludge, which is a combination of biological and a primary sludge, and a digest sludge. Each of these sludge have a different dewater ability. There are two widely used technology in the market, bell filter press and the centrifuge. Bell filter press use the pressure to, to remove the liquid. The performance of the bell filter press is backed by the sludge flow rate, the polymer usage, bell speed, and the bell tension. For example, if the sludge fit rate is high, the solid will not be as dry. The higher the bell tension, the drier will be the kick. However, if the tension is too high, it could cause the sludge to spill out from the side, the sludge clogging the bell, and also may shorten the, the surface life of the bell. Centrifuge use the centrifugal force to separate the solid from the liquid, and the performance affected by the sludge treat rate, polymer dosing rate, the torque, and the relative speed between the blow and the scroll. For example, the such fit rate is too high, the kick solid will, will not be as dry. Or if the defensive speed between the scroll and the bow is too high, then the, you will not also achieve high kick dryness. The effect to be considered when selecting different dewatering technology, the first one is the type of sludge, the volume, and the characteristic of the such water dewater. I'm um, also need to consider the environmental factors such as oil or the tension exposure to, to the operator or noise. The other factor is the economic, things like capital cost, O&M cost, and the such disposal cost. We also need to consider the operation maintenance requirement and the footprint of the building. Particularly, if you try to reuse the existing building, you need to consider the structural requirement. For example, centrifuge has a very high dynamic load, so in the design, you need to consider. We we'll recommend it before you finalize the selection. We'll do a bench scale test, preferable a pilot study, evaluate the performance. The difference between the bell press and the centrifuge, bell press has a much larger footprint than the centrifuge, and also require more operator attention. The centrifuge typically will use more polymer than the bell press, also produce a drier kick than bell press. Centrifuge also use more power than the bell press, but the bell press use a lot of wash water. The wash water need to be continuous, whereas for a centrifuge, the wash water only required during the, the shutdown cycle to, to clean the internal. Centrifuge is fully automated, bell press is not. The Evansfields have two waste watering plants, the yeast plant and the west plant. They digest sludge from the west plant pump to the yeast plant for dewatering. The current, they have four bell presses, and in first phase of the improvement, the, the city replaced two of the bell press with a centrifuge. In the second phase, they will place the remaining bell presses with two additional centrifuges. This graph shows the performance of the centrifuge. You can see between the January 2015 to March 2016, on average, the centrifuge achieved about 28% kick solid. In conclusion, when selecting this dewatering technology, you need to look at a number of factors. See what, which one fit your facility best. 